money of the innocent United States of American people, it is being taken to arm the Israeli in order to murder the Arabs. And you cannot keep the Palestinians, who are the owner of the lands, to be in, 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 to be in the tent for more than 30 years. They have been already 26 years with the children. On top of this, they have been bombed every day. They have been murdered, slaughtered by bombs, by phantom, and while they don't have airplane. They are poor. They don't have even, they don't have a tractor to make them to grow more food for their family. They have been assisted by the refugees. And we don't want this state today in more, most modern world, we wanted to see that instead of buying phantom jets and uh, even the reason why today I could read the paper yesterday that the, uh, this new, uh, new York City, I think uh, the governor went to the president of the United States because there is a bankrupt in the United New York and because the money of the innocent United, United States of American people, it is being taken to arm the Israeli in order to murder the Arabs. And we don't want this. We, don't, we want a development. We want, to, we want to grow more food. We don't want to buy more ammunition and a bomb and a kill innocent. The United Nations is here because of the peace, not because of uh, killing or fighting. Because you know that we have the law and uh, this is the United Nations. When the resolution is passed that uh, you should withdraw from Arabi occupied territory, I think the resolution I remember is 242, but uh, they refused completely. And uh, what the power has the United Nations? Are we trusting United Nations organization or not? And even according to the history, there is no such a state of Israel existing until 1947. There is no state of Israel. We don't want war in the Middle East. We don't want even uh, uh, Israelis, Jews, to be killed in the in, in Middle East. We want peace. We want peace in uh, Jerusalem, as I said yesterday, because the Christian, the Jews, the Muslim can live together in harmony. We don't want to see Israel dying, even during the October war. I was the first, uh, I think, leader went to front line to Syria, and uh, I saw myself, and I met even, talk with the prison of war. Some of them, phantom pilots were captured, some in hospital, and uh, I talked to them, and even they told me they were forced to go. They were chained in the phantom to go and bomb Syria and uh, Sinai in Arab country, they did not want it to, to go. And even I, the, the, the chain which they were, they were chained on the, in the airplane, uh, it, I, I saw it with the, even locked. And therefore they had no even morale of fighting. And I'm sure that uh, uh, that is why the Israeli were defeated because most of the pilots did not want to fight. And then how can we stop this fighting, killing in the Middle East? We don't want this to happen again. And I think it is a responsibility of the Israeli government to change their mind, to stop fighting, uh, to withdraw from occupied territory. But if Israel wants peace, Israel must withdraw from Arab territory. You are sure that in 1967, they captured the whole Sinai. They captured the uh, part of the Jordan. They captured uh, most of the part of the Golan Heights. The resolution was passed here that peacefully Israel must obey that order to withdraw from all Arab territory. And this was passed by the, uh, the whole United Nations member states. They refused. What can the Arab do now? On top of this, there has been bombing every day. We don't want war. We don't want destruction of Israel. But we want peace in the Middle East. But if they don't want peace, what can we do? You do. If at all uh, 
I wanted to uh, beat you with the stick. Your duty is to defend yourself. Therefore, the Arabs are to defend and also they are to gain their territory by all means, peaceful means or by fighting because the, the territory was taken from them by the force of arms. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor and privilege to introduce to you His Excellency Field Marshal Al Haji Idi Amin Dada, President of the Republic of Uganda and current Chairman of the Organization of African Unity. <laughs> 